rich, you realize that broke boys say dumb shit. Like, oh, he's rich, but I'm happy. So what, you can't be both? Who said you can't be both? Like, only a broke boy would sit there and say, oh, he's rich, but I bet he's not happy. Why? Why would you bet he's not happy? Because he has more money than you? Why? Because what they say, oh, I'm poor, but i got a good family. So is he. You want to sit there and be a broke boy and be a hater and say stupid things about the rich people being unhappy and all these other broke boy justifications, you will stay a broke boy forever. Do not justify your failures any longer. This is Ten Twenty Eight Awakenings, and I'm back again with another motherfucking video. What's going on, Scorpios? How y'all motherfucking doing today? All right. So anyway, I hope you guys are looking good, smelling good, and motherfucking feeling good. What's going on, my good people? All right. So we're doing a daily read. Do not forget to check out drum roll, please. Tyworld.com. All right. We got books. We got games. We got puzzles. We got coloring books. We got workbooks. Order now. Okay. Also, check out couturelove.com. It's at the beginning the beginning and the end of every motherfucking video okay all right also if you want to book a personal all that stuff is in the description box below so go ahead let's do what it do all right so what's going on y'all thank you so much for all the likes the shares and the subscribes i'm so grateful for all of you guys i love you guys so much and i honestly 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 i don't know if you could tell love what i do okay all right scorpios let's get it let's get it all right so i kept hearing tell me what you want hey tell me what you need i don't know what that was about but i feel like scorpio somebody somebody about to come in and be like bruh what what you need like what you need for us to be on the right page okay tell me it ain't good enough for you babe all right so somebody could be at odds with someone because they don't feel like they really want to fuck with them no more you know what i'm saying the gate could possibly be closed and scorpio honestly we don't do readings on pre-shuffles but i'm telling you somebody is like bitch I can't really fuck with you no more. And I really feel like it's a masculine who is saying this, okay? When I say masculine, I just mean I think it's a nigger. You know what I'm saying? I think it's a dude saying this to a feminine energy or maybe he's not. Maybe he's just going to ghost her because he just feel like he done went through some changes. And instead of this nigga saying, hey, man, I've been going through some changes, this nigga just might be like, poof. You're like, damn, where did he go? I keep calling him. I keep testing. I don't know where he went. He left. <laughs> he didn't go to new earth nigga but he got a new perspective do you feel what i'm trying to tell you all right scorpio so let's see what the bat story is okay so i really feel like somebody is trying to dip off on somebody all right i don't know why okay but i feel like somebody got differences the gates closed they don't see things the same way all right so this has a lot to do with rumors okay so scorpio there could be three motherfucking bitches and three niggas okay out here talking shit about you these rumors have just gotten all the way out of control okay these could be people that you knew from a long time okay but i'm telling you they are spreading rumors about you and it's catching up to them all right so everybody who was talking shit and whatever this is it's about your survival how you make your money because this shit is red your stability all of that shit and guess what you are the divine feminine all right somebody got a lot of lust towards you but they thought it was lust but it could be way more than that okay another pre-shuffle type type shit all right so scorpio somebody has been spreading rumors about you it could be up to three people two people could know each other for a long time i mean many years it could be two guys it could be two girls okay and the other person that was speaking um ill on you he they could just come and go i mean i don't know what that means but i feel like they are part of it but maybe they're getting some kind of clarity on how they shouldn't be doing that okay this could be two women who've known each other for many years they're plotting they're basically like yeah you know we need to do this because i really want this too this could be over a son or this could be over a daughter okay so i don't know what the fuck that is okay but i feel like this is a younger woman and an older woman all right and they could be plotting on somebody younger but i feel like scorpio whoever these two people are whether they be man woman mama daddy cousin brother brother mama sister i don't give a fuck what it is they are spreading rumors and i feel like whoever is interested in you they're not listening to that shit no more they like you know what i don't think that's right shouting okay i need a clarifying card for rumors for my scorpios look at all these rumors can't take it no more all right okay so we got karmic release in reverse so shout it i know this is gonna be crazy they said shout it say what's your price okay so somebody was in a karmic relationship 
but they not fucking with that person no more okay they done picked them up a little rebound okay so somebody got them a little rebound okay this person could be a little bit heavy but not too heavy you know what i'm saying they could just have a little meat on their bones okay but this is a karmic this was not somebody they was with this is somebody they was with from a long time ago okay so somebody done put out like an archive dick or archive pussy and maybe they did a placeholder here okay so whoever this person is on the side this person was like on the side of someone's relationship with karmic release this person has already let go of their main and they didn't got them a little you know space holder okay can i get a clarifying card on karmic release in reverse thank you spirit yeah okay so this karmic is feeling like okay he gonna propose to me this nigga finna be with me you know what i'm saying or if this is a um if you a Scorpio male, this person was in a relationship, right? Let's say you a Scorpio male. The girl you was killing, chick kill, <laughs> the girl you was kicking it with, she was married, okay? And there was a lot of rumors about you and her hanging out and all this shit, okay? She done let go of her main dude now, you know what I'm saying? And maybe you the dude, you know what I'm saying, in the situation, and you like, man, I don't really want to propose to you, but the feminine energy who left her nigga, she like, yeah, I'm leaving this nigga so I can be with this nigga, okay? And if this is a female, you are the dude okay all right and this female is like wow you know he dropped his main girl and now he finna be with me now he gonna propose to me and we gonna go off in the sunset this is what a side girl is thinking here okay and this is a side girl who really helped somebody through their marriage through breaking up with a partner or through breaking up with a wife or through breaking up with a relationship that's crazy okay because their relationship had a lot of arguments whoever this person is with the rumors they was in a relationship with somebody who was of a lot of fussing fighting and no teamwork with friends in reverse deep story y'all this shit deep <laughs> i'm just trying to make sure y'all know all the key players bro because it's heavy here all right but whoever this is whether you be a dude or you be a feminine energy because some of y'all scorpio i don't even think you on a scene yet i think all this stuff is happening outside of you but i could be wrong there's a person playing every role here okay so we got passion in reverse okay so whoever is the main dude in this relationship or female you don't really got no more passion for the person who thinking that you're gonna propose to them okay you had a lot of passion for them when you was fucking with your little shawty you know what i'm saying because you didn't like your main squeeze you know what i'm saying now you done got rid of your main squeeze and the side bitch that you had or the side nigga that you have thinking y'all finna go in a committal relationship but you don't even have passion for that person anymore damn and i think it's because you realize that person is the snake just like the person you was with they just did it on a lower vibrational plane or they didn't do it as much okay oh okay so whoever is this is with this passion here um that's losing passion they're thinking about if this really was the person that i was supposed to be with okay then i wouldn't have no money problems so maybe spirit is telling me this is not the person i'm supposed to be with so somebody is starting to see like if this was the person i was supposed to go towards my money would have got better and somebody is realizing that their money is still fucked up all right so they thinking that maybe whoever they dropped their uh main squeeze for that that side piece ain't the, ain't the move either Mm, karmic release okay what did i tell you i told you this got something to do with this motherfucker right here all right so somebody is thinking about the divine masculine and how they're gonna propose to them and how the reason why they're gonna propose is because they know that whoever this side girl is i don't know who this nigga is but this nigga be picking some bitches with a bag okay whoever this female is that's banking on a proposal she don't got no financial burdens okay this girl has really ran her checkup with money issues in reverse okay and she really like this nigga she like nigga you gonna be mine we gonna be together forever i really love you i want to be with you we can have a happy family okay so this is a feminine energy who don't have no kids but this ain't this bitch twin Woo okay so this is a feminine energy who doesn't have any kids they want proposal they waited but this not they this not they twin flame this is this is somebody else's twin flame this is this is bizarre i don't even want to say twin flame i just want to bust it down how it is so nobody don't got to be confused but i'm about to do that Ooh. okay so look let's keep it 100 here it's a dude here. It's a feminine energy. I feel like Scorpio, you the one that somebody's spreading all these rumors on, okay? I feel like it's a dude that you don't talk to or it's a bitch that you don't talk to that you have basically released out of your life, Scorpio. I feel like you out of the reading now, okay? But depending on where you are, you, you could still be in it, okay? 
I feel like Scorpio, you feel like you have a strong spiritual connection with somebody who is your twin, but you and your twin is not talking. That shit is in reverse. But whoever your divine counterpart is, right? Whoever your nigga is, whoever your bitch is, they have let go uh, energetically or on the 3D plane, whoever they was with officially they also picked up somebody on the side they could have known this person for many years this person don't have no financial issues and this person don't have no kids this person really do want to propose or, or be with your person for a long time okay um but your person has lost passion for them because your person has now realized they want to be with you okay you could be somebody who wears a lot of dresses your hair is really long but they thinking about how they want to be with you and how whoever they put as this placeholder they don't want to do that that was strategically made okay so scorpio if your person stopped talking to you stop fucking with you it's because they already had two bitches on their plate and if it wasn't two bitches it was two niggas okay and this could have been a backup nigga that this person had okay and i know this is crazy but sometimes feminine energies have backup dudes they just have on the side this masculine had a backup bitch and this backup bitch thought that as soon as they dropped their they main bitch they was gonna propose to them be with them i love them they was gonna have a family like this person waited to have a family this person could be older in age and have no kids but this ain't this person divine counterpart okay and this girl don't have no money so she like look if you got problems i got you i could take care of it this masculine could have saw that and thought that that was an opportunity too and i'm not saying that this masculine is trying to use this person okay but masculine and money issues in reverse it was a it was a factor like you do got to check you can give me help you can give me stability when i need it and maybe this karmic wasn't giving this masculine stability maybe this karmic was not helping this person so when they saw this other person okay they don't have no kids no baggage but they don't have a strong connection with them could be all sexual based with passion here in reverse okay because something look real good when you don't like what the fuck you got you know but now that you got a choice and you don't even want this look i don't even think this masculine want this okay proposal hell nah passion in reverse <sighs> this divine masculine is in a lot of regret okay they they in a lot of regret let me see why they in regret because they they don't even like this bitch i told you bro this was all about lust you there's no marriage coming from this ain't no growth coming from this and you know what when people try to do shit like this try to grow out of a relationship that's fucked up or try to have a relationship with somebody who already in somebody else you already know that shit gonna work now you think oh i i know this person since i was a kid or i know this person since i was a child so they gonna pick me we got history bitch no you you don't lost your mind bitch because he they not finna pick you he not finna pick you she not finna pick you this was just lust and this person is in a lot of regret because they about to ghost this person they about to hurt this person's feelings and they don't even want to hurt the person's feelings but they shouldn't have did that yeah what i say you can't tell me i don't know what the fuck i'm talking about that shit say retreat okay after a long time of walking with this person chilling with this person having sex with this person doing all this rebound shit now this person finna be like i can't be with you no more and i know that she gonna th this, for this feminine energy she gonna hurt so bad because she feel like she been there she's been this person's counselor she's been helping them through the relationship but you shouldn't have been doing that you got low self-esteem you shouldn't have been helping nobody get through their relationship if you somebody need to get through a relationship like that and you're not their friend and you laying with them you need to tell them you need to get a counselor you need to get a therapist or somebody to help you through your situation yeah this person is in a lot of regret because they see through illusions now whoever this masculine was they ain't see shit right they were seeing shit real distorted, but now they can see very clearly here. It says the past returns, gate opens, okay? So let me tell you something. This is somebody that they known since they was a child that they don't have passion for. And the gate was open at first saying, oh yeah, you know, let's kick it, let's chill. But it was all sexual-based relationships, okay? Damn, bruh. Okay, this man could have been just having sex with her and not his wife, but now he want real love and he don't want real love with his side piece. This is kind of crazy, but it's true. He wants somebody, he want real love with somebody who here go all the way back down to the middle of their back. Um, so this person could be a water sign too. All right. <laughs> Cause look at the water, you know what I'm saying? So Scorpio, you done just showed up in your read in the upright. So somebody want to be with you. They open for love after they went through a very, very rough time in a hard relationship that was karmic as fuck. Then after they got out of that karmic relationship, they moved to something that was more 
um, stable to them, somebody from their past, okay, that they had a strong connection to, all right, but whoever was from their past, this was not somebody they were supposed to be with, but this was a crutch, this was somebody that they had to be with, they losing passion for this person, they like this person because this person didn't have no money problems, and they didn't have no kids, so it seemed like, yeah, let me go with this person, they ain't got no kids, they don't got no money issues, but Spirit is telling you, it doesn't matter that they don't have kids. It don't matter that they don't have no um, um, money issues because at the end of the day, you're not going to have no family with this person. You don't have a spiritual connection with them. You only have a sexual-based connection. So you're going to have to ghost this person, pull your energy back because you see through illusions now, okay? This masculine didn't it at first, okay? They was like, oh, yeah, I want to do that. Now they open for love and the person that they want to be with is you, motherfucker, Scorpio, all right? Okay, so Scorpio, they done said rumors, lies, okay? This person has been a part of these rumors or listened to them, okay? Uh, so that's kind of rough. And it could be the main reason why this person, like, swerved you or stayed the fuck away from you. But I feel like it was divine protection, Scorpio, because whoever your person is, they had to go through a lot of people just to find out that they asked, wanted to be with your ass, okay? They had to go through the past, the present, and the future, okay? And the reason why I said they had to go through the future is because illusions is in reverse. When they see their future they do not see it with this person that they've been um fucking around with they see it with you all right can i have clarifying card on open for love can i have a clarifying card on open for love okay yep what i tell you scorpio this person want to be with you they don't give a fuck bruh they love your breath in the morning even if it stank okay so somebody is really open for love they want to rewrite their story with you they want to change it and you could possibly be a water sign pisces cancer or Scorpio, okay? And this person want to be with you after going through all this bullshit here. Leaving a main bitch, leaving a main nigga, picking up a side bitch. This side bitch got a lot of money. This this side nigga got a lot of money. It's not going to work out. Two mom, a mom, a dad, a somebody was teaming up to help all this stuff go on. They receiving some kind of drama with that, okay? Their voice could be blocked off, okay? They could be working on this divine masculine to stop him from moving towards the person he really wants to be with, okay? Damn, Scorpio. Look at all these rumors. Can't take it no more. Scorpio, you protect it. Losing in life is so important. Whether it's getting dumped, getting fired, losing a game, lo loss. Those feelings where things didn't work out your way, that's important because it lets you know this is the bad feeling that comes when hmm. it goes wrong and you improve and then it makes the good feelings of victory all the better.